migraines, tension headaches. Let me just give you a quick. Tension headaches are muscle related, okay? You have your temporalis muscle, your frontalis muscles, you could have them in the neck, you could have them in the eyes, you have a lot of muscles here. And it's very simple. Your muscles get tired, they have to get rid of waste products, and when they don't get rid of waste products fast enough, you end up getting spasms equal pain, because you actually put pressure on certain nerve endings. Well, tension headaches, uh, many people get them, they, they can hurt, but anything works for the tension headache. Relaxation training, yoga, phenobarbital, and uh, 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 ibuprofen, everything works. Closing your eyes, because as soon as you let your muscles uh, kind of relax, you get rid of the headache. Migraine headache is totally different. But I don't want you to think migraine headache is bad headache, because that's what happened in society. We talk about migraine headaches like the evil headache. Well, anyone that has it knows they can be evil. But most people that have them are not diagnosed. Most people that have them say, I have migraines. Well, how do you know? I don't know. I, my doctor told me. That's not good enough. They have to measure, they do an e, EEG. There's a whole variety of things for it to be migraine. Migraine headache means blood is being trapped in your head and scalp. So here's what happens. I'm going to hit my hand on here, so don't get crazy, right? So when you hear that, just the noise alone, blood will leave your hands and feet and go back to your vital organs, your heart, your, your liver, your, your lungs, your brain. Blood goes against gravity, actually, to, to see what's going on. Really what happened is you really want blood to uh, go back to your heart so it could be pumped out, sent to your large muscles so you could run or fight. You know, the fight or flight response. That's fast. But what happens is it also goes back to our brain. And you have an opening up dilation of blood vessels. So you have a lot of blood going back to your brain when you're under a lot of stress, continual stress. Coaches continual to yelling at you. Wrong stance, wrong route, wrong this. And they're on your case. And, and you don't get it, okay? If you care, by the way. Remember, if you listen. So what happens is you have all this blood going back continuously. Then, do you know how blood goes against gravity? You have muscles, outside blood vessels, that pump they actually contract and relax to pump blood throughout our body. It's not that hard, pumping everything. That's what we believe. But you actually have muscles that help propel blood back to our vital organs. And what happens is they get real tired. So you go through three, four straight weeks of stress, whatever that is, day and night, exams, boyfriends, this. And then you're done with your exams. You're done with this. You have a little moment to of peace and relaxation, and you get a migraine headache. Migraine headaches almost always occur after the stressful events in life, challenges. Your body says, all right, you put me through the ringer, now you pay. And, and it's almost always after. So a migraine headache is a vascular headache. It, it's when blood gets trapped in your head. Now, I don't want you to think you're gonna, it's going to fall out of your ears and all that. It's just trapping connective tissue. Because you're, what happens is the blood vessels moving blood get tired and they need time to relax. Unlike a tension headache, nothing works with a migraine. All they can do is provide you with some medication to thin your blood. You can learn some biofeedback, which teaches people how to relax their, and, and, and get more, uh, excuse me, move heat, uh, warm their fingertip temperatures. What am I talking about? Forget that. We teach people how to warm their hands, which causes their blood, blood to be coming from our head and our vital organs back down to our extremities. This, is, this pumps now, there's all types of things. They really don't work. Once a migraine headache starts, it must take its course. It affects one side of your head, not both. If you wake up with a headache, pretty good chance it was a migraine. It could last two to three, sometimes even up to four or five days, usually not beyond that. People need darkness. They want to cut out all senses, they want to cut out, they just don't want to hear anything, everything is, is uh, made worse. But that doesn't mean when you have a tension headache, it doesn't hurt just as much. We kind of put a value on this thing. As far as a profile of a migraine headache sufferer, for some reason they're super achievers. These are the people that are very organized. They stack their money at night. Chopin, 
Uh, a lot of musicians, it affects women three times as much as men. Five to seven million people a year, excuse me, are diagnosed with migraine headaches. Three to one ratio, women to men. And now we have kids three and four years of age with migraines. We never had them before because parents would never bring their kids to the doctor thinking that they could have migraine headaches. But they have stress too, and their bodies would get tired too. So, what's a migraine? A vascular headache. Remember, it affects one side of your head. You could feel a headache coming on. You have an aura where you have flickering lights. You might have an eyelid that's shaking. It's almost like a mini stroke that people can feel. If you know that one is coming on, there are things you could do to reduce its intensity and duration. You just can't stop it from occurring. 